thanks for watching my channel make sure you like and subscribe in this video I'm creating a super creative and bold look as you can see I already based my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I created a super colorful look with the Morphe's 35B palette also I contoured my nose like I told y'all this is gonna be super creative next I'm begin to create an intense wing liner definitely Nicki Minaj inspired I typically don't wear a wing liner but for this look it's necessary and like I said you're gonna see this look you're gonna see how it comes together at the end this is definitely not an everyday wearable look but super fun super creative so basically I outline my wing liner first and then I color it in because it becomes easier for me to follow so I begin to color like I said, if you, it doesn't have to be perfect. So now I begin to apply my foundation to my already prepped and primed face. I'm just going to blend it in evenly with my beauty blender. And I believe I prepped my face with the MAC Radiant um, Primer, but... I'm not too sure actually it's not in this video but you can use any primer out there that you like to use but that's just what I use for this so it's quote time in all my videos I'm gonna hit y'all with an inspirational quote some cliche some I made up probably but for this video in particular I'm gonna say it's got to be cliche and that's just beauty really is within like I know we're confused right now about what beauty is but honestly the greater you shine on the inside the brighter you illuminate on the out so what consumes you on the inside is just as important as the outside so while you applying all that makeup beautifully make sure that inside matches so now I'm basically gonna go in with my Smashbox concealer and I'm just gonna outline so I can make sure I get my nose right for this look I'm going for and I'm just basically going to put it underneath my eyelids is that underneath my eyelids that doesn't make sense how are you gonna put it underneath your eyelids I'm basically gonna cover my bags put it underneath my eyes um on top of my lip on my forehead and my chin that's where you pretty much apply the concealer. And as you can see, I already got a little bit of white concealer on my cheeks. That's not necessarily, that's actually too light. But for this look I'm going for, I added a little bit of concealer underneath my cheek. And you can add concealer to your cheeks. That's good too. Who cares? So basically, I'm going to blend out my contour. No, my bad. I'm going to blend out my concealer evenly on my face. So as you can see, I kind of started, oop, messed that up, but I'm going to go over my wing liner at the end, so it's okay. But I'm basically going to blend it all the way out on my face. So yeah, as you can see, this is a step you usually don't do. I added a little bit of pink underneath my contour, so my contour can have this pinkish, brownish, blush look to it already it's not blush but it's gonna make my bronzer look kind of pink I think I'm onto something with this because I definitely will wear this in real life but as you can see if you blend it together it gives it like that like is that like pink a pink contour I don't know try it for yourself I like the way it looks on me personally it's kind of a good idea it's kind of like mixing blush with your contour, but it's not blush. By the way, that's not blush. That's um, eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer, and I'm just going to put it underneath my contour to give me those fake cheekbones. Blend it out with my beauty blender. And it's just, sometimes it's easy to blend. If your skin's drier, it's going to be harder to blend, and you definitely should add some rosemary water that's my little trick I like to add to moisten up my face as I'm trying to blend out my concealer my skin is kind of between dry it's kind of between oily but when I'm applying my makeup it's kind of definitely hard to blend out my concealer of course you should damp your beauty blender a little bit then it becomes way easier to help blend out that concealer 
So basically, I'm just going to evenly do that. Next, I'm going to add my setting powder. This is the Kat Von D Poreless Setting Powder. And basically, I like to add a little cheek, a little bit to my cheeks because I have pores. A little bit to my nose, kind of define that nose for me. As you can see, I blended that blue nose contour out a little bit more. I'm telling you, this look is going to come together in a bit. Ah, there we go. The feathers. Now y'all see what I'm going for. This is a creative bird makeup look. I'm taking my duo glue and I'm going to apply those feathers to my brows. I wouldn't wear this look out in real life. Perfect for Halloween, but it's after Halloween. The eyeshadow is cute. I will wear the eyeshadow. I don't think I would contour my nose and I definitely wouldn't put feathers on my brows. But for fun, like if you want to be a showstopper, like if you want to go to the club and just be the, like have the weirdest, flyest makeup, this is the look for you. Do this. Put feathers on your brows when you go to the club. Don't care about your outfit. Care about that makeup. That's something I would do because I'm extra. But I don't go to the club. But if I went to the club, yeah, I would rock this. Or this is perfect for like a uh, carnival or like Coachella. Ooh, exactly. This is I call this the bird look. It's definitely Halloween inspired. So this duo on your brows, do at your own risk. Just know you're putting glue on your eyebrows. So it just might take some eyebrows out. Just do it at your own risk. I didn't tell you to do this. You're doing it at your own risk. So pretty much I'm adding those feathers evenly along my brow and I added the duo glue at the end of the feathers and I basically just glued them to my brows, push them down, let it dry. <laughs> Giving you runway. Like I could see this being copied on the runway. I could see someone copying me on the runway. Just make sure you guys give me credit or hit me up. I'll do the makeup for the runway. But this is definitely a cute creative photo shoot look, a cute creative runway look. Definitely not a wearable everyday makeup look, but I love the love how I blended out my eyeshadow because I'm a huge fan of blended eyeshadow. So I'm basically going to do the same thing to the other eyebrow, add my duo, and I filled out my brows. There you go. And I did like a colorful highlight. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that pink. That pink is beautiful. I didn't get a chance to add brows, I mean eyelashes to this look. That's the only thing I'm missing. I didn't get to put my lashes on. I didn't capture in the video. But if you go to my Instagram, you can see the full look on my Instagram page. Make sure you follow me at Teriana Styles. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more.